Hello you cool cats, this is Mina and welcome back to another episode of Rumpa Ultra Despair Girls where we are going to go see Hygie's trump card, but before we go and do that, let's go ahead and talk to all the NPCs around here. Yeah. Wait, why is it just adult? You're right, there comes a time when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Your speech really touched my heart, lady. Um... Oh. Did I actually, like, say anything like that? Hmm. Well, I remember it being something like that. Oh, there's an adult over here, too. Um... Uh, what did Mr. Hygie mean when he said he had a trump no. card? Beats me. First I've heard of it, either. Shouldn't you just ask him? It's far too suspicious. It's suspicious. He's had plenty of chances to use a trump card before now. Why didn't he tell any of the other adults about it? Mm. Who knows, but it's Haiji after all. I'm sure the man has secrets. Mm. Secrets, huh? Mm. I hope those secrets don't come back to haunt us. That was ominous and foreshadowy. <laughs> that speech earlier, you were so cool. You spoke so well I got goosebumps. You've really grown since I first met you. <laughs> no, not really. The reason I was able to act so cool was because of the sacrifice you made, Shirokuma. Huh? You saw I was that cool, huh? But you're still much cooler than me. <laughs> no, no, you are much more cool. What's going on? So how much longer are you going to keep up this modesty battle? Okay. <laughs> yep, you guys are just like I thought you'd be. Thanks to you two, the atmosphere of this place has really brightened up. It was creepy before. Huh? Really? I don't think we made the place any brighter. Hmm. She doesn't mean it like that. She means the mood of the place. She's saying that thanks to you and Chirokuma, the ambience in here has improved. Yeah. Exactly right, Fufu. You're good at explaining stuff. Anyways, thanks, guys. <laughs> Shirokuma deserves the most thanks. Huh. Maybe, but you were pretty courageous yourself, you know. <laughs> well, if you say so, thank you. Just kidding. There, was that so hard? But I gotta say, compared to your sad face, you're much cuter like this. Oh, right. Did you find any more of those lists of people with wristbands? We did. And over. Hero. Oh, it's her. What is she gonna say? <coughs> huh? You were a nurse? Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you? I might not look like it, but I used to work day and night in that uniform. Just kidding. I had a reputation in the hospital that my blood drawing skills were never miss a vein. <laughs> a nurse who's a former delinquent. Pretty cliche. Do you have a heart of gold too? <laughs> well, anyway, the bit about the sun. Do you have a sun, Miss Hagakure? You're right. Yeah, one. A little older than you too. Proud of him. Very successful boy. In what way, exactly? Hmm? Hmm? Did you say something, Toko? Nothing. No, I was just thinking what a doting parent she is. He's a sharp boy. Handsome, tall, kind. If he didn't come out of me, I wouldn't believe he was my own kid. What is she talking about? Hmm. Well, thanks for that image. But... But even if my son is perfect, something has been bugging me. It's just a small thing, but he's a just, it's just a small thing, but he's just a teensy eensy bit clumsy with money. He's in debt. Well, if he's so successful, he should be able to pay off his debt right away, right? Oh, and he also repeated middle and high school about four times. <laughs> Well, I've heard that really smart kids don't always do well in school. <sighs> oh, yeah. And he's also just terrible with women. Um. 
Oh, I'm sure he's popular? What's going on? It's getting pretty tough to defend at this point, isn't it? Just kidding. Well, all those few... Well, all those flaws are kind of cute, too, in a way. Hmm. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. You really are a doting parent. Uh, yes, let's hand over another. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah, it totally is. There's no mistaking it. This has to be her. What's going on? What are you talking about? Ayaka Haniyama, it's Akiyasu. Hmm. Akiyasu? You know her, Coco? Not personally. She's Yakasu, the Iron Guardian deity from that national idol group. You don't recognize her? Her catchphrase is, Rock you like a Yakasu. Hmm. Uh, I remember. I saw her on TV before. That idol group with Sayaka at the center. I see. Right, her group. Bringing in cash from gullible idiots like Kamaru, she can't be that talented. Togo! Hey, did you just make fun of Seika? Ugh. I was making fun of you! Jeez! Pick on me as much as you want, but don't you dare pick on my favorite idol. Huh? Your favorite? If you must know, I'm a Seeker. What? Sayaker? Sayaka has over a hundred million fans. That's why we call ourselves Sayakers. I shouldn't have to tell you that you do not want to make enemies of us. And? So what kind of things do Sayakers do, anyway? <laughs> well, nothing specific. We're just people who like Sayaka and cheer for her. In my case, I buy CDs and merch with my monthly allowance. And guess what? Sayaka and Makoto went to the same middle school. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Aww. But anyway, why is Yakasu in a place like this? All right. Miss Hagakuri, I put my faith in you. For Sayaka's everywhere. Jeez. Well, I'll do my best. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently he's around Toa Tower. Did you guys run into him? Aww. We did, but before we went up the tower... <sighs> this doesn't sound good. <sighs> yeah, it wasn't. He was attacked by a Monokuma and killed right in front of us. Unforgivable! God damn it! Those little shits have no right! No, not just the kids. No one has any goddamn right to kill anyone! I gotta rake those brats over the friggin' coals. I see. His name was Taichi Fujisaki. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was a good man. A he was a good man. A devoted father. He sure was. I hope his... T <laughs> I hope... I hope his daughter is okay at least. Yeah, I think she's doing just fine. You know, that's just kind of how Toko handles things. I've, I've come to accept that and realize that, that like, she doesn't, she doesn't like feed into the despair any more than she already has. Like, she just kind of like, it, it it's better to not just like, Sometimes I guess the, the truth hurts a little too much. And by that I mean she didn't tell her that like, you know, his, his air quote daughter and air quote is dead. Nekodekomaru.
This is a cat, right? I'm not gonna crazy, am I? <laughs> nope, that's definitely a cat. You're right. It's a cat. Hey, hey! Well, shit, I never thought a cat would end up being a target. Well, those brats weren't originally responsible for kidnapping the captives. But they're still gonna use this cat as a target? That's pretty messed up. Huh. And check out that name. Grand Boy Something. That's one hell of a name. Yeah, I can't tell if it's fancy long or gaudy long. It's lame is what it is. That cat owner sucks at naming. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns this cat? Hmm. Do I? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, even if it just is cat, I can't let the kids get it. I'll send someone over. Even if that cat makes it all the way home, its owner won't be waiting for it. Hmm? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing? I just think this cat has a bad personality, that's all. It's probably a very spoiled cat. <laughs> um... Go to this one. I bet Toko has something to say about this. Hey, hey! Jeez, annoying old creepy gross. They were even more cruel this than usual this time. He's probably just a faithful servant to his young master. Hmm. I wonder if the kids think like the older they are, the bigger the enemy. But that's <laughs> this is. Hmm. hmm, what's up? Don't what's up me! This is a grave matter! An earth shattering event! Seriously, what? Did you hit your head or something? <laughs> this is Byakia Togami's name here on the file. It's who Toka likes. That's why she's so excited, I think. <sighs> I'm not excited, I'm worried! If he's the master's butler, that makes him my butler, too, in the future. What's going to happen if he gets hurt? We have to go save him. Um, why don't we just leave it to Miss Hagakure like we usually do? Leave it to me. Yeah, listen to Coco. Just leave it to us. It's not a problem. <sighs> well, maybe, but... Hmm? Hmm? What is it? I want him to owe me one. I want to make it so he can't defy me. With that butler in my pocket, I can do anything I desire, like love potions or hidden cameras. What are you talking about? Hey, hey. Sleazy until the end. <laughs> totally. You guys just don't get it. This is a huge deal for me. This is like the world exploding. I gotta be sleazy until the end. But... But even if you were one day able to tie the knot with Byakuya, would that really make you happy? <laughs> That's... You're right. You should stop before it's too late. You regret a win by cheating more than an honest loss. Do you feel some kind of regret too, Miss Hagakari? <sighs> yeah, I was young. I did something I shouldn't have because I wanted to be with my ex-husband no matter what. But when I got found out, I had to end it with him. But then, I was honestly relieved. I was relieved that I was finally free from my sin. Sounds ominous. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what did you mean by cheat? No. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Even if I explained myself, I'm sure you'd think less of me. Leave it to me. Anyway, I'll do something about that butler. Leave it to me. That okay, Toto? You're right. Yes. I will achieve my heart's desire with a full frontal assault instead. Alright, one more. Huh? Uh, that's impossible! Huh? What happened? Are you choking? Vacuum! Get the vacuum! Oh. Oh, this woman! It says she's the author of Tara Spa! What? Tara... Tara Supa? What's that? Hmm... It says she's a manga artist. So it must be the title of manga, right? 
Not just any manga, a manga masterpiece. The drawings of food are so well done, it's said that reading it will make you start to drool. Yeah, yeah I feel like I saw my son reading it. <sighs> so, so Teacher Second Fry was just a pen name for this woman. What a shocking scoop. Jeez, where did this enthusiasm come from? This is big news, huge news! The end of the century and the next generation of space wars! What? That? Well, if she's that famous, I kind of want to meet her. If there's an opportunity, I'll be sure to get an autograph. Oh. Thank you very much! Oh, but make sure it isn't addressed to me. They'll make the value go way down. Hmm. That's exactly what you would say if you were going to sell the thing. Togo! There's no way I'd sell it. Don't downplay my respect for ma manga artists. What's going on? You don't have to take it so seriously. There we go. All right, I already searched this place and I couldn't find any sparkles. Um, but I haven't ended the chapter. And the more that I think about it, I haven't fought the kid yet. So maybe that means I haven't missed the the sparkle. In case you haven't tell, oh, in, blah, blah, blah. in case you can't tell, I haven't um, I haven't stopped recording from the previous episode. So if there's comments from the previous episode saying like, oh yeah, there's totally going to be um, a Monokuma kid ahead, then I don't know. Well, looks like the Monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. Um, where are we going? Didn't I tell you? The place where our trump card is hidden. And just what the hell is this trump card? And why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm not trying to be cryptic. It's just hard to explain in words. Hmm. It's much easier if you see it with your own eyes. Then you... Jeez, you sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s. Didn't mean to tap there, sorry. Anyway, it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse. If there's one thing I know for sure, this is our last shot. Does something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. I don't know, dude. I'm having a hard time trusting anybody here besides Toko. It's, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling uneasy about your trump card because you're not saying what it is. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic bastard. <laughs> However, getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. Me and Four Eyes will go in the back. It'll be cramped, but I'll have to deal with it for now. What do you mean, leave it to me? I don't know, driving something, I'm guessing? Listen, it's important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. That's not an explanation. Didn't he just say not to freak out? I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Wait! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet! Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Yahoo! <laughs> Slow down! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet! <laughs> Enough with the complaints! Let's go! <laughs> I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun! Why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license! I can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are gonna pull us over or something. Y you're right, but... Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. Roger! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're here. We are? Where are we? Are you taking us to a secluded spot to to do stuff with us? We're just gonna move along. If that's your plan. Hurry up and get it over with. I won't resist. 
Um, no. That's not what I was thinking at all. Especially not with you. I, uh, I like him younger. As young as possible. Ew! Gross! Holy smokes, gross! The, both of these girls are on, like, the, 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 the last, the last spot where you go after, dude. Gross. Actually, can I leave now? Anyway, it's time. Careful of where you stand. If you talk, you might bite your tongue. Is this an elevator? You'd never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Secret factory? This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. Okay. Um, isn't it about time you tell us what you're hiding here? I've told you already. It's our last hope. And it's deep inside this factory. However, we do have a bit of a problem. Um, I, I was kind of overwhelmed about what I was looking at, but it looked like it, it may have been like half of a, I think it was the white side of the Monokuma's belly that I saw go across the screen. Maybe. It's the reason I was hesitant to come here in the first place. What? Just say it! In order to deter intruders and thieves, our family uses monokumas to guard the area. What? Wh wh why? Monokumas? Ever since the riot, we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them. So what I can guess, the monokumas here had their control functions broken. Bet they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Okay, just wait. Slow down a sec. Why would your company use monokumas? Why are the monokumas here in the first place? Didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction. But you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. You're making monokumas here? That's the answer to the question. I already know. Like, I think I saw half of the monokumas. What are you- why are you making monokumas? You- you're being awfully suspicious. Well, you have every right to be suspicious, Toko. Yeah, probably. I even think so myself. But for now, will you please trust me? I'm gonna tell you, I don't trust you at all because you've made nothing but scary faces at me this whole game, and none of them have been like particularly convincing. And plus, you just gave me like creepy vibes when you started talking about young girls, and that's <laughs> you're kind of creepy, dude. I'm begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm not just going to abandon the hope that's in here. I took your words to heart. That I need to fight back. No giving up. Hi, G. Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. If he does anything I don't like along the way, I'm turning around and leaving. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the bottom floor. This trump card is going to be some sort of um, crazy strong Monokuma. I can already tell. Hold on, let me look. 
What's gonna come out now at me? Be careful. If you touch the lasers, the alarm goes off. You could have told me that you sooner. Said that earlier. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, it's okay. Obviously, defeat the siren Monokuma, or else he'll just keep coming. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Be careful. Don't get caught in the lasers, okay? Yeah. Again. Oh, trust me. I know. Could have said something sooner. A fucking idiot. No! Let's go in here. Okay, there's a button there. Alright, four eyes, step on the switch. Then Kamaru and I can go through. Uh, that would leave me behind. <laughs> Damn, here they come. We gotta run for now. No. Hey! I know. We can use a Monokuma to press the switch. Yeah, plus I don't want to be alone with him. Monokumas. Oh, there's a sparkle here. The moment I saw that business proposal, time just stopped. I understood immediately. In the end, I was just a frog in a well. But even so, just thinking about being involved in this kind of work makes me shudder with excitement. I want to pour my life into this job. If, it, if this gets out to the public, the life of every human on the planet would be more well off, and we will work tirelessly to make this work. I'm sure some will complain, bringing up safety concerns with the fact that the inner body is extraordinarily resilient, but it won't be a problem. I don't lend an ear to boring naysayers. This is memoirs of a factory employee. Why do they want to make monokumas? Alright, I, I have a feeling that this is the right way, and I, I don't feel like I explored... I don't feel like I explored the other way well enough. Yeah, there's there's a room the other way. Why didn't I check my map sooner? What is wrong with me? There's a sparkle on the other side of this door. Okay, sparkle! What was the incident all about? Though the tragedy that painted the world with despair showed signs of calming after the death of the ringleader, it has not completely settled. However, in the light of current events, shouldn't we look back at what the tragedy can teach us and prepare for preventive measures? A thorough investigation to the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. Which reminds me... You were abducted around the time the incident was escalating, right? So I can assume that you haven't really experienced that incident. 
Well, by the time I was abducted, the world was already pretty messed up. The crime rate was high, the war had started, seven of my classmates had died. What? Do you mean they were killed by despair? No. I'm not really sure if they died, but one day, all seven of them went missing. And a little while after, someone mailed a package to the school. Thirty-five fingers were inside. That's horrible. I never ended up finding them. There's no way they're still alive. Because I went through that, I'm worried about my parents. Hmm. If your brother was here, I'm sure he'd say something like this. Do not lose hope. I see. Hope. Yeah, you're right. It's not like that I know for sure Checo or my parents are dead. Huh? Checo? Oh, my friend had disappeared. Her name was Chieko. <sighs> oh, you had a nickname for her. Yeah, she was a pretty close friend after all. I see. Your friend, Chieko. Could it be? Are you jealous? What? Of course not! Don't even think it! Why would I be jealous of a girl with a big brother complex like you? Stop it! I told you, I don't have a big brother complex. I'm sure you're just hiding it from me. Your favorite thing to say is I love you, big bro. I also can't abandon the idea that you two eat all of your food mouth to mouth. <laughs> what did I just read? Jeez, that's way past a big brother complex at that point. Alright. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm glad we didn't miss that. That was that was worth coming here for. Okay, there's a pool here. I'm just gonna wait till everything passes by. You aren't doing it on purpose, are you? Because that would seriously piss me off. What part of me looked like I wanted to do that on purpose? That light literally passed through the wall. Now I know that it's ultra sensitive and I need to be careful though. So I guess I can learn something from that. Alright. Let's go in here. I really need break ammo. <laughs> <clears throat> Toa's group scale. It was declared early this morning that the largest household electronic appliance manufacturing company, Kanto, has been acquired by Toa Group. This brings the number of subsidiaries owned by Toa Group up to 8,000. Toa Group, and by extension Toa City, has been receiving a lot of attention as of late. Yeah. Well, they're it's making Monokumas. 8,000? Jeez, how big of a scale are they thinking? You guys better not be planning world domination. <laughs> World domination. Sounds swell. If we could completely control all the brats in the world and the adults, that'd be nice. Ugh. So it's just as I thought. That's not it. I'm just kidding. Toa Group isn't some evil corporation straight out of a movie. Mm, you're making Monokumas, so... I don't... I don't trust you! It's a financial group with a simple policy and reasonable assets. Normal to a T. Aside from all the greed driving me to make this company the largest in the world, of course. Don't mess with me! Don't joke with me! No good corporation like yours is no match for Togami Corporation. What? Hmm? Are you from the Togami family? <laughs> well, not yet. But I'm planning to become one. You're kidding me, right? What the hell is this chick talking about? <laughs> It's a long story. Just let it go. Let's see. Well, anyway, there's no dangerous ulterior motives behind Toa Group. Currently. Hold on, currently? So it used to have dangerous ambitions? Well, we may be nobles now, but that doesn't mean we didn't start at the bottom like everybody else. I'm sure Toa Group was a rather ambitious when they were still a startup. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when your father was chairman. Before all this happened... Who knows? I wasn't exactly deeply involved with the business side of Toa. I have no idea. 
It's true that Toa was working to put the incident in the past. Amazing! That's why they made the air purifiers, right? Let's see. They also detoxify seawater and replant forests. We're honestly pretty good people. It's far too suspicious. Good people? The moment you started using Monokumas as guards, you stopped being good. <laughs> Jeez, you're a pushy one, aren't you? I already told you, you gotta trust me on this one. And we should trust you just because you say so. Toko. Toko, I know how you feel, but now's not the time for this. <laughs> I know. But... Komaro, you can't trust this guy. The moment you let your guard down, he'll touch your butt. Hey. On my honor. I promise I'm not into her. Specifically. What I'm trying to say is... Oh, God, no! What I'm trying to say is, the younger they are, the better it is for me. <laughs> that is a hardcore Lolita complex. The real deal. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that he admits it, it's kind of attractive. Komaru, stop. This is the worst. You really are terrible at picking men. Alright. Oh, we have to go past that laser. We have to go past that laser. And I don't want to go past... You know what? I, I, I accidentally just tapped on the detect, but I realized that I have not been looking... For Monica, and I really hope she hasn't been behind us. Okay. I don't... I know that this thing has been going through the wall, so I'm going to stand right here and see. Okay, where do I need to go? There's a, there's a metal thing over there. Okay. Let's wait. Yeah, we're going to go definitely farther beyond than we should. Oh no! right there's something there what does this map say this way continues on so I have to get over there oh oh all right let's wait go 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 all right Kihiro Kiriho team Fuhiro Kirigiri a wrinkly old demon who's been around like forever. It's got this organ that makes its head and the back of its ears super stinky. So be careful when you get close. There's also a rumor that it's one of the founders of that detective library with all the books and stuff. You should read D Danganronpa Kirigiri to know more. Is that an actual thing? Let's go here. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? Oh, thank you for the break ammo. Nothing's going to happen unless you open the door with a switch. Oh no, I gotta think this through. Oh, okay, so I forget how I do, do I make that one dance and shove it? Is that how that works? I think it is. Wait, wait, wait. Is that one of the permissible moves? Dance? No, it's not. Oh, thank goodness I looked. Okay, so it's just knock back. Just knock back. <sighs> God, I, that was close. I almost messed that up. What? Where'd you come from? Oh, because you, you opened that door. I see. That's right. So if I ever want to turn around. Okay. okay. Nothing. 
Good. Good. What's wrong? Don't you think this is strange? It's just like I thought. This place is fishy. <laughs> Monokuma's guarding the place. What they're making at this factory? Hey, what's the deal? The adults are all waiting for us back at base. Let's hurry up and get the trump card. I can finally show them hope. Toko, what do you think? I think that regardless of what we're doing, we should probably at least shut this facility down. We've come this far. There's no choice but to go for it. I'll be the judge of this hope. This hope is crap, but we, we definitely need to shut this place down. Also, I really still haven't seen any sparkles. Oh, there's, there's a tiny sparkle there. I need to find... I really need to find the Monica sparkles. I need to look. I don't think I looked very hard at the last place where I was at. So I really hope it was not on the floor above us. Okay, grab this and then run backwards. She calls me unfashionable. You don't look good in white socks. If your virtue is still white, honey. I died, I died, I died. Okay. What does this area even look like? Okay, I have to go around like that. Okay, I, I really haven't seen any sparkles. I'm serious. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. Let's try using a normal Monokuma. Paralyze and Link. So I leave here. Oh, I, okay. I grab its attention and then I move it there okay 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 I've I've got it I've got it I've got it all right and then I go right here and that should kill them Easy. That was close. That was close. All right, what's going on? Get over here, get over here, get over here. Was there a sparkle over there? I don't see one. Then screw it. Hmm. Another game plan. Oh, you know what? I can't turn around. Dang it. I should have looked for Monica back there. It looks complicated, but if you do it just right, you can wipe out all of them at once. Okay, hold on. Um, clearly that one needs to be barreled through there. Okay, okay, that one's surveillancing, so I need to... <clears throat> I need to... Turn the switch on with that one, I guess? And have the... I guess? Alright. I don't quite understand this one. So I'm kind of hoping that I understand along the way.
no, 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 no. Get behind cover. Oh, <laughs> yes! A thorough investigation of Genocide Jack. With a mastery of killing that can even be called artistic, Genocide Jack changed the world. The rumors about him that flutter about are innumerous. Online, they talk about him as if he were a mere urban legend. However, he does really exist. In this book, we address the rumors, study the motives, and created the killer's profile. Genocide Jack is alive. Amazing! I didn't know you were so famous that they made a book about you. I'm surprised. What's going on? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, thinking of you as a celebrity makes me want to act more formal. Nothing. Being famous for something like this doesn't make me happy at all. I wish I never had the other me. Mm -hmm. Why did Genocide Jack get into you in the first place? Huh? Get into me? What are you talking about? Um... I mean, identity disorders are like that, right? Was there a reason for it? Like, maybe your soul switched when you got hit by a truck or something? She's thinking anime. There's no way something that ridiculously sci-fi would ever happen in real life. <laughs> it's true that she's inside me, but she didn't come in from the outside. She's more like a personality I created out of suppressed emotions. <laughs> that sounds kind of sci-fi to me. But if that's the case, what was the reason you suppressed your emotions? My mother. Oh, awesome. Is this <gasps> Toa's backstory? Oh, awesome. Is this like Toko's backstory? I'm excited. It's my mother's fault that she was born inside me never thought of them as my real mothers. Not even once. What? Hmm? Wait, them as your mothers? Don't you mean your mother and father? I guess maybe she had lesbian moms? Question mark? <sighs> I'm a novelist. I wouldn't misspeak like that. I said them and I meant it. I have two mothers. Um... Oh, did your dad remarry or something? No. No, he wasn't buried to begin with. Sounds complicated. At the hospital where I was born, a baby born the same time as me died from a medical accident. It's not so uncommon, however. <laughs> Through some mix-up, the hospital wasn't able to determine which mother's baby had died. And that's why I have two mothers. You get it now? But wait, wouldn't they be able to find- Yeah, this was what I was about to just say. But wait, wouldn't they be able to find out which child was which with a blood test? But... Both mothers declined the exam. A loving mother wouldn't want to face the possibility that the baby who died was theirs. But both of them wanted their child to die. Wait, wait, wait. Wanted the other's child to die? Hmm. They also discovered that both women... That both women had slept with the same man. Of course, that would be my father. <laughs> I mean, who... Could have thought an ugly and pure woman like me would have a player for a father. Don't mess with me! That was a prime opportunity. You were supposed to object to the ugly and impure part. You're making that face. You making that face is just making me feel worse. Sorry. Sorry, I just can't even imagine. Anyways. Anyway, because of that, my daily life was full of stress. For a while, I turned my negative feelings into novels, but it got harder and harder. Or at least the feeling that I couldn't bury with my novels, Genocide Jack was born. Um, oh, that's a pretty amazing story. Well, well, I'm sure my extraordinary birth helps a lot with writing extraordinary novels. But thinking about it all now, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Um, Toko? Don't you get... Oh, don't you dare get weirded out by my story and try to change the subject now. You're the one who asked, so you're gonna wallow in these bad memories with me, damn it. No. No, it's not like that. How should I say it? I like you, Toko. <laughs> well, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, sorry, that came out a little wrong. But I like you as a friend, Toko. So what did you want to say? F forget it. I was just going to keep going on about my misfortunes, but I seem to have forgotten. Aw, you have a friend, Toku! Oh, I'm so happy for you. Alright. Let's go back out of this place to the nightmare that is these lasers. Okay. 
Okay, I still haven't seen the sparkles. I have been looking constantly, but I mean, it's it's totally possible that it's somewhere that I'm just missing. This place is huge. I've gone so far without missing the Monica, and now I'm I'm just dreading that I'm missing her. Okay. Wait, the lasers aren't moving. Those are all pointed at one spot. That's... That's suspicious. They're gonna move as soon as I do something. Oh, there's a sparkle there. This is a good time to try and look for Monica. Because they're obviously making Monokumas here! <gasps> sparkle there. How do I get over there, though? I have to go around. Product development document. The following series will be developed into five types, including the prototype. Currently planning on investing into each general office work, goods work, bodyguard work, rescue work, and cleaning work. As the series becomes more popular and recognizable, we will be we will expand into other horizons. Should we do? We can't move the elevator like this. Don't worry. If you input the password in the management room, the lasers will shut off. The management room is at the back of the conveyor. We should go there first. Just a bit more. If we can get to that elevator, we can get to the deepest area. Once we're there, the trump card is ours. Jeez, this sucks. I'm starting to wish I just left. gonna be like some boss level Monokuma. It's just like I thought. I have seen these things before. Why is something like this being made at a Toa facility? I don't know. Envious body. Gives me more HP. Why not, right? A body? Just like I thought. What? You expected this? Explain! This guy wasn't killed by a kid. He was killed by a guard Monokuma that went haywire. This is a problem. He's the only one who knows the password to turn off the lasers. Then what are we gonna do? We gotta find that password somehow. I'm sure there's a clue or something in here. We can't just give up. Well, come on, don't start complaining. Let's just do this. If we input the laptop's password, the lasers should turn off. Check this place from top to bottom. Then we'll find it for sure. Happy birthday. Toa security, please type in your password. Hey. Put the password in here to stop the lasers. <laughs> what? There's no way we could possibly know what it is. We've got to look for a hint. There's no other way. After getting a good look around, let me know. Maybe I can think of something. What's going on? I don't really expect a punk like you to come up with a bright idea, but thanks anyway. It says, the password is my son's birthday. What's going on? Well, actually writing down a password like this? How technologically impaired are you? 
Should I use this to log into some shady mail order website? <laughs> Togo, why do you know about shady mail order websites? Don't mess with me! Shut up, that's not important right now! <laughs> anyway, we get the password if we can figure out his son's birthday, right? What is this? Something's written on the bloody photograph. Happy birthday, 69-8. So cruel. With the blood on it, it doesn't feel like a happy birthday picture at all. Is the blood covering up something? Star sixty nine with an eight. It doesn't fit any months. Okay, what, what do you have to say, Haiji? You're kidding me, right? Are you sure you've checked everything? Oh, I didn't check the body. Oh, I'm an idiot. So cruel. This is far too cruel. This is the worst. The fact that it's starting to get used to this kind of thing disgusts me. Huh? Huh? What's this? The third Saturday is my son's birthday this year. I can't wait to spend time together. I can see my son and my wife. The passage is written in in the bloodstained notebook. See my son and wife smiles in my mind. What should I buy for a present? The third Anyways. Saturday. No time for tears now. The third Saturday. Hmm. We searched through everything that looked interesting, right? You're right. We should be able to guess the son's birthday from all the information we've got. Um... His birthday is the third Saturday with the number 69 and 8 on the photo. Ah, that's not enough info at all. You're kidding me, right? I don't give up now. <laughs> Can't think of anything yet, but talk to me m later. Might think of something. Okay, Oops. hold on. Okay, so we, we, well, okay, hold on. We know, we know that it's the third Saturday, right? So the third Saturday, I, I need to look at a, I need to look at a calendar. I need to look at a calendar, hold on. Okay, there's no way, there's no way that the third Saturday, so conveniently, right today, right now is July second, two thousand eighteen, and um, this particular month, it uh, the, the the Sunday was the first, and today's Monday, so it's the second. So I, looking at the calendar, I see that the fourth Saturday of this month is the twenty eighth. Um, knowing that, that means that there's no way that that uh. That can be an that I, I'm guessing that the eight marks the day of the week. I, I think it's blurring out whatever whatever um the other digits are. So I'm guessing that the eight is 
supposed to be 18 because if I if I go to August conveniently enough August of 2018 actually has the third Saturday as being the 18th so kind of nice that it works out that way 69 I don't get oh wait 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 I was trying to think I, I was trying to ignore the 69 thing and look at the star and think of like what could this what does the star mean in months but now I'm remembering isn't there like isn't one of the astrological signs that like a like um uh what whatever those symbols are like but it's 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 actually on it's it's not 69 it's actually like you gotta turn it um 90 degrees but I don't remember which one that is see I'm a I'm a Gemini and astrological signs <laughs> Uh, Zodiac. I used to, um, care about these sorts of things. Let me look. Aha! Yes, okay. That, that did look familiar. That's, that's Cancer, isn't it? Man, I, I bet this probably would have confused someone terribly. So, Cancer occurs between June 21st and July 22nd. So this is a July 18th, I guess? 0718 maybe? This is wrong, I don't know what to think. Oh yeah, nicely done. Yes. Now we can get to the deepest part. I knew I could trust you guys. Oh my gosh, look up there. There's the astrological chart too. It's right up there. You sure talk big. You couldn't even look <clears throat> us in the eye a while ago. N no, no. See, I'm lucky. I'm lucky I knew it, but if you look up there, that's the, that's all of the the symbols. I actually, um, I bet that would have been confusing for people. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I don't know how you would have solved that if you didn't know what that even means. <laughs> I knew I could count on you too. Oh, so now you like us. I have a pretty bad feeling that I have missed out on a um, on a hidden kid. Just a bit more, a bit more. The hope's almost in our hands. You're crazy and alarming. Oh look, it's me, Slowpoke Maru. Typical mass-produced demon that isn't unique in any way other than it's below average and a lot of stuff. It's a perfect demon to try new items on. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. I've looked. I've... I've looked. I have seriously, truthfully looked and I probably missed it somewhere um oh I can go backwards I wonder if the machines are off oh please tell me that they're off how the light nope <sighs> I went all the way back to the beginning of this place and I seriously couldn't find A hidden Monokuma kid anywhere. Oh wait! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It wasn't here before! I looked! Oh my god, I just wasted so much time. You guys don't even know. Come on, come together. Oh, yeah. 
so annoying. I wasted so much time looking. Sorry. I, I'm sorry I got mad. I was just... Ugh. You, you don't know how much time I just wasted. Let's go see whatever this stupid trump card is. It's probably gonna be some monstrous Monokuma. Oh no, it's scrap now! Ah! Memoirs of Nagisa Shingetsu. I know I should stop thinking about it, but it crosses my mind when I least expect it. Are we the warriors of hope truly in the right? I tell myself that we are right just every time, but sometimes I fail to convince myself. Do I not really want this? When was the last time I truly felt guilt or remorse? Obviously we were treated horribly. The worst of the worst, but even so, I feel that I am in debt to my parents for raising me. I hate it, but I can't stop feeling that no matter how they treated me. I still owe them affection and respect. It's a heavy feeling in my chest. Something I can never tell Masaru, Jotaro, Kodoko, or even Monica. I need to stop thinking about things like this. I... We have a revolution to think about now. A paradise to build. For us. And for all of the children in this town, I need to save Monica. It's her I need to think about. She's much more precious to me than my own life. That's really depressing. Alright guys, well, um, I'm going to... What the... Palm trees become Monokumas? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! Um... Oh crap, what are like I I remember seeing those before. Um Oh god, I forget what they what they are. You can type in the comment section um for the first time Monokuma is in 3D. Um you can type in the comment section what the name of those guys are because I I've seen I've seen them before. I'm trying to remember what where I'm blanking. But anyways, that'll be it for this episode. I am probably going to record the next uh, couple of episodes back to back and try and knock this all out and uh, get it all recorded. But that'll be it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Roger! Ayaka Haniyama, it's Akiyasu! Akiyasu? You know her, Coco? <laughs> Personally, she's a Ayak Yaka Am I saying it right? Yakasu, the Iron Guardian deity from that national idol group. You don't recognize her? Her catchphrase is Rocky like a Yakus. Rocky like a You don't recognize her? Her catchphrase is Rocky like a Yakasu.